Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I was out doing a bit of mining and I discovered this little beauty here and I thought, what better time to start recording? So, hi, welcome back. Um, yeah, this also gives me a chance to show you the uh, perfect use for the portal gun. It actually catches up, there we go. Of course, as Mark and Recall. Why I hadn't thought of this beforehand, I have no idea. J just like these things here, hoppers on top of my... Uh, my machines, a buffer for all your stuff, that's amazing. So yeah, uh, I intend to do a, a few things in this episode. Um, clearing this space out so I can get to grips with some sort of sorting mechanism because coming back from mining and just dumping stuff in chests is really starting to just... I, I, I dislike sorting my inventory out, I'd rather a load, a load of machines could do it for me. Um, my multi farm is giving me lots and lots of stuff. Like I have chests full of seeds and wheat and potatoes and all sorts. So I'd like to do so something with the excess of all that. Uh, perhaps mush it down, ferment it, wh whatever I need to do to turn it into stuff that I can burn in the biogas engine. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a list to get on with. Um, I should probably write it down somewhere because <laughs> if last episode taught, taught us anything, I am rubbish at getting on with projects. But cool, I'll see you in a second when I've figured out exactly where I'm going to start. Hmm, how could this possibly go wrong? <laughs> Woo! That's a good space to get going with. I'm quite impressed with my uh, ceiling skimming skills on that uh, TNT blast there. I can't see any broken blocks. In fact, should we go for a wander up and have a look? Ooh. There we go, up the side, up the rubbish stairs. Need to carry these down a bit further. Yeah, look, it's gorgeous. Hmm. Need to figure out exactly what I want going on here as well. Blatantly, I want some sort of like this will be like my reception room. This is where everyone comes and goes. I'll build a portal reception bit here, so somewhere I come in and out. Um, other types of portals over here, because I know there are other portals, um, particularly like Mistcraft and stuff like that. I could have a row of books. Hmm. But then some sort of singular dumping chest where I just walk in and dump all my stuff in there and then it goes off and sorts. I, I, it's well within my powers to make happen. So let's make it happen. Okay, so blatantly I'm going to have to take some of that out. And fuck digging it. <laughs> so. It's a bit close, let's pop it down there. And you know, we'll keep it restrained, no more than three bits of TNT. Like that? That 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 should do wonders, surely. Run away <laughs> Lost a couple of bits, but I took out more than a loss. Yeah, I like that. Right, last couple of bits before I have to go creeper hunting. I wanna try and push that back to do the intended thing of trying to make it seem big yeah hopefully without puncturing the side um, so this soil does not fill me with hope uh, where's my pickaxe there we go let's put it down there start relatively small oh, how much is under here do that oh can't put a lever directly on top of TNT rubbish why can't I put a lever on top of TNT Ah, I punctured the wall. Now I've got to go around and fix that. But I think I'm a bit more clearing with a pickaxe, and that's 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 the sort of volume I'm after. I don't know. I'm trying to be impressive, but I generally do quite bad at that. <laughs> All right, catch it a bit. So I come out and have a look at the damage, and I've obviously been digging here or something before because this this does not look natural in any way, shape, or form. But looking at it, it looks like an amazing place for a door instead of trying to fill it all back in. I'm not sure how that will tie in with the inside, but yeah, I should be able to make it work. Though my shovel's just about to pack up. Yeah, um, 
if I bring that out here, make another stairway down to meet that, and then they go down that way. Ah, genius. Yeah. Right, well, let's start clearing this. Uh, right, this bit's going to be boring as well, so um, I'll jump forward a few, a few minutes or so. Ugh, I've said, yeah, let's just throw a door here, but I've not even thought of the design of the door. Like, something like this needs some sort of roller shutters, yeah? Now, like, I know redstone um, power's got the frames, or yeah, I could probably even do it with regular pistons, but, you know, this is Feed the Beast, or Die Wolf 20 mod pack, and th th there's got to be some particular fancy, impressive way. Oh, this is going to result in wiki searching, isn't it? Well, I'll see you possibly in hours rather than minutes. Alright, that's the last bit. <laughs> Quite successfully used. Oh, look, iron. Sweet. Quite a big bit of iron. Okay, next stage sorting machine which requires red dope wafers and oh, this is a mammoth seam of iron we're in there yeah sorting machines red dope wafers oh, I eat some more of my bloody redstone never enough redstone in this game why can't there be some way of duplicating that right everything's geared up for sorting out diamonds diamonds aren't the most important thing people well can be but Hey guys, so, got a lot of cobble, I'm going to do some experimentation. Now I've seen that I can do this to make flint. Now from flint I can make clay. Now why is clay important? Well from clay I can make clay blocks. Oh this is going to take forever. Thankfully they filter down to smaller numbers as you go on. Now, was it lots of flint to make the clay, or was it singular stacks? No, it's the cobblestone, gravel, clay. See, so you get through that incredibly quick. And, like, inventories full of coal. Now, down to this. Uh, so, Clay, clay blocks. Blah, get your teeth back in, Steve. And then with the minmus stone, minmun stone, keep calling it minmus. Get iron. Now you can carry on with this for like from iron. Ooh. Uh, somewhere you can make uh, gold, and then from gold you get diamonds. And yeah. But obviously, like, I had that, that, like, build um, with, with cobble and I got five bits of iron out of it. Um, yeah, press you on your minimum stone. Seal the stuff that you can do all the, the crafting with. In fact, these aren't the useful pages. Da -da 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 -da. I should have gone the other way. Alright, most of it is just exchanging for the same thing, but you get bits like this. Now it was eight. There you go. All these bits of iron give you a single bit of gold. So as you can see, the conversion rate is is rubbish. But if you had like a whole load of automatic crafting tables set up in a row, like it's not as if I'm short of sort of shard, short of shards. <laughs> yeah, good speaking there, Steve. Yeah. So that's probably a build that's going to be coming on at some point. Hmm. So, the next thing I need to think about is where's this chest going? My dumping chest. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's just use that. Make double chest quick. And I, I could go ahead and make all the, the upgrades to make it like gold and iron and rah rah rah. Um, but as it's just a chest to be emptied, I don't see the point in that. As you can see, I cleared out a bit of space underneath it. Ah, uh, but I didn't actually really want to do that quite yet because I want to be able to stick the blocks to something. Um, some sort of surround to make it look nice. That would be a good idea. Uh, I like the idea of a lapis thing. Um, let's try five. Just give me enough. 
Try and see some slabs. I do like the mechanism they've used for this. There's this little shape they've used to, to figure out where you're putting things. It's, it's amazing. I'm going to take my hat off to them. Sweet. And then under there I'll have a wooden pipe pumping out. And I'll go off to the sorting machine, which I should make next really. Um, no, I know, I know I need to make a piston. Do I have any pistons? No, right, let's make a piston. Make some wood. Oh, there's one too many wood, but what? Ah! That's right, I didn't use a wheel. <laughs> that would have been uh, quite funny, and well within my uh, capabilities of doing. Right, that's the stuff for a piston. Um, power in the bottom, iron to extend it. Cobble sidings and the wood plate. Sweet. Right, I'm currently making a filter because it's the base used for the um, sorting machine. So it's uh, cobbles, red doped wafer. Uh, cooked enough of those, funnily enough. Let's grab those because we're using them. Oh, gold. That was there. These went across like this. Red doped wafer. There we go. Sweet. Now, the problem with this is that I'm now breaking into a different energy source. I believe these use blue blutricity or something like that. Okay, I can never remember how to say it. I can never remember how to say anything really. Right now, I want to build a sorting machine. So there's the filter. Now, a blue alloy ingot, um, silver ingot and nickelite, I've, I've got both of those things, they're amazing. Um, go back here, we've got silver somewhere, um, got some fuel on me, over to the alloy furnace, woohoo, pop that in there. Uh, this furnace is incredibly useful for a lot of things. Um, is how I've made the uh, the, the red doped wafer. Um, made my silicon, chopped it up with a handsaw, then applied it. It's like like the silicon here, and then the redstone there, and that makes that awesome. I'm gonna let that make enough to finish that coal. And I forgot which the next steps are. Two red doped wafers and some iron. Sweet. Uh, iron. Got enough iron now. Another handy trick with the minimum stone. If you are miles away, you just press C. That brings that up. Now normally your uh, your waypoints are set to that. I had to go in and set my waypoints to something else. I can't even remember what I set my waypoints to. Um, yeah, but I thought that'd be incredibly useful. Now this is going to need blue blutricity. In fact, I need to go have a proper look at what sort of system I want to put in place here. I know that a sorting machine does the sorting, and that, that's great, but how does it pull? Um, what does it require to power? Stuff like that. Well, I'm going to have to come back with those answers in a second. Okay, so I've gone and done some research, and I've basically got three options when it comes to ooh, uh, red power electricity. Um, solar panels, I'm underground. Kinetic, which uses wind and stuff like that. Uh, again, I'm underground. Or thermopower, and I've really got to put a, uh, a floor there. Or thermopower, which uses heat differentials, I believe. Um, water, water and lava is a good one. It's, uh, I believe it's like one block of lava and four. Um, lot, uh, water sources will produce uh, uh, I can't remember exactly how much but enough to run the sorting machine and that's the aim of the game here so thermopile let's uh, open up the handy not enough items 
Um, uh, this one here. Blue doped wafers. Oh, that's going to involve Nikolite and uh, yeah. All right, let's go do two of those. Ah, ah, oh, fail. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I've really got to sort of floor out. Still just a bit bare from the uh, from the TNT. I need the the machine first, really, so I know what sort of size room to fit to the function. Um, right, silicon is in this. On two of those. And oh, I left this burning with an extra bit of coal in it. I I, I shudder to think the state. Oh no, that's all right. Right, let's go get some nickelite. Is it in the general box? It is in the general box. Um, <laughs> I can't stop throwing dirt everywhere. Right, right in there. Right in there. If I was a bit more conscious about my fuel, I'd be using sticks. Right, that's going to take forever. Let's get on with the next bit. Um, thermal pile. Blue alloy ingot, I just picked it up. Iron and copper. To my metals box. I've got iron on me. Ah, that is. Back over here. Are you done? You're yeah, done. Sweet. Um, right, so. Uh, there, that, there. That was down there. Uh, no, it wasn't, it was in the middle. I knew that felt wrong. Thermal pile, amazing. Right. Now I need the lava. Uh, that's quite a trek downstairs. Um, so I'm going to cut it there, take these buckets, replace the water with lava, and I'll be back. Oh, wait, I've got this. <laughs> uh, oh, but there's no lava down here. And zombies everywhere. I know there's one bit of lava there, but I, I wanted more, really. Okay. I'm not gonna start wandering around aimlessly down in the down in the mines. Pull it. Let's break my out. I made a list. That will keep me on. Storage is gotta gotta think about where all these are going. But yeah, lots of plans, and I'm working on one that's not on the list. Should make a sign and make that happen. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna go down to the bottom. Get some lava, because I know the route this way, and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I got a thermal pile, a sticky out block, some buckets of lava, and a load of glass. <laughs> what could possibly be going wrong here? Alright. Let's try and make this work, shall we? I'm thinking this should work, surely. Oh, I need something to stick it onto. Ah, it's not too much spillage. Now, nah, let's sit the, la sit the lava under there and... Stop the gun, surely. Oh, I won't keep that there. If I keep making mistakes like that, it's all going to go horribly, horribly wrong. So I'll pop this one here. Glass surroundings. Didn't bring enough dirt up. Might have to go raid my dirt box. I do love rummaging in my old dirt box. Uh, it's a shame I've got enough. Um, Alright, let's take that door. Stick them on the back to stick the glass to. And by the sounds of it, this is needed. Alright, pop that there. Oh! Ah! Uh, hard. There we go. That's why. Ah, oh, I can do this. I can do this. Got this in the bag. Right, so that's the water. Now, it would work better with like snow or ice or something like that, but with the, the lava here, what it actually does is, um, it has a, a chance, it's like 1 in 300 or something like that, I've just read. Um, of melting the ice or snow 
um, ice is better than snow obviously and you can have the, the snow covering you know like the stuff the uh, uh, snowmen leave behind oh it's been a while since I built some snowmen I'm going to have to go find myself an arctic area but there we go handy light source and power system right let's clear some space make this pretty though I do again quite fail at pretty most often there we go right now I need pneumatic tubing to come out of here and I need to figure out how to get the power up and over Oh, I do hope it doesn't degrade over time, over distance. Just thought that. Oh, well, it's done now. <laughs> I don't have a silk touch pickaxe, so I'm stuck with the glass where it is. Right, so, because the thermopile doesn't put out the most amount of uh, energy, we're going to have to build a battery box for blue electricity. Uh, it's relatively simple. I've got a fair amount of nickelite, so I can use that. Do I have any tin on me? I do not have tin on me. I also need copper. So, there's a few tin. Something like that. Uh, copper. Oh, running out of copper. Right. So now, we fill these down here like this. Copper top and bottom, and oh, tin in there. I really want to do more than that. I need at least four. So let's grab some more nickelite. Beautiful. Copper top and bottom, tin in the middle, and nickelite down the outside. Brilliant. That's enough. So then for the actual box itself, I want to do this, 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 and throw in the random bit of wood I got. Beautiful again. Okay, now, one final thing I need to do. Let's see how much wool I've got in there. Uh, black I've got more of. Right, now, wool down the outside and blue alloy down the middle gives me blue alloy wire. Ooh, what aspect is that? Uh, now, let's go downstairs and have a look at our thermopile. Right, now that bit of marble up there is going to have to go. If I'd brought more with me, I would have moved it back thinking about it. If I can get it, I'll do that. I can't get it. Oh, that's weak. Let's go around here. Build one out. Oh, stop spagging out under the glass. <laughs> awesome. Right. So. strikes me as a good thing to have here. The blue alloy wire comes up. Pop it into a battery box. Now will this sit here like this? Oh and it's taking power. Beautiful. I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to go in here. That's okay, because I've got this raised surface all the way. Yes. Ah, there's power to my sorting machine. Hmm, shame I can't rotate the battery box. Is that the only thing I'd change up there? Like, everyone's always like, oh, I've got to hide my wires and I've got to keep it free. But I, I, I like the wires. They, they add uh, a certain look to your place, definitely. 
Oh yes, there we go. Next, pneumatic tubings and end of lines. Because in here, I should probably do some sort of explaining here. Ah, oh, look, power. Now, this one is what happens when it doesn't know what to do. When you, no, let me let me start again. So from down here, you've got all these little tags here. Now you can set these to random colors. Obviously, not random colors. You you, you set these corresponding colors to the end of the line, and then you can dump in what you want it to sort out in what direction and then when it receives power from there it will pull out of the chest and through the magic of pneumatic pipes which I will show you as I'm building will take off to uh, all the various places they need to go now aside from storage what else am I going to need? Well, there's going to need to be pulverizing and smelting smelting um, Oh, well, I'm going to need all sorts of weird circuits in between the pulverizer and the smelter probably with more filters and sorting machines to send some bits one way and some bits the other yeah I'm going to go and think about this because th this is a bit, bit of a bigger project to just go steaming into right guys I know I said I was going to do pneumatic pipes and stuff but I've just noticed that this video is already half hour long and if I carry on I'm just going to clog up YouTube with rubbish uh, I'm quite happy with how uh, this episode went it's uh, not quite as disjointed and uh, horrible as last episodes uh, I've got a few more things done, I've got the start of my uh, my sorting system, i got my little mining enclave which I need to come down and do some mining in with um, Yeah. So uh, next episode I'll definitely be uh, getting back on with the sorting machine because just you know priorities. <laughs> uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.